In this video, we are going to discuss about how to reduce a number of parallel voltage sources into a single equivalent one. For that, we can use Milman's theorem. Milman's theorem states that when a number of voltage sources V1, V2, V3, etc., Vn are in parallel having internal resistance R1, R2, etc., Rn respectively, the arrangement can be replaced by a single equivalent voltage source Vm in series with an equivalent series resistance Rm as given here. Here we can see number of voltage sources are connected in parallel across these terminals A and B. Here each voltage sources V1, V2, etc., Vn is having corresponding internal impedance R1, R2, etc., Rn. So according to Milman's theorem, this type of network containing N voltage sources V1, V2, etc., Vn each having corresponding internal resistance R1, R2, etc., Rn can be replaced by a single voltage source Vm in series with a resistance Rn. This single equivalent voltage Vm can be found out by means of this equation. Vm is equal to V1 G1 plus V2 G2 plus etc. Vn Gn all divided by G1 plus G2 plus etc. Gn where G is conductance which is reciprocal of resistance. Gn is 1 by Rn. And how to find out Rm? Rm is equal to 1 by Gm. We know when resistances are connected in parallel, equivalent resistance can be obtained by means of this method. 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus etc. 1 by R. So 1 by Rm is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus etc. 1 by Rn. When we are considering these individual terms, this is G1, this is G2, etc., Gn. So, Rm is 1 by G1 plus G2 plus G3, etc., Gn, this one. In general, instead of this resistance, if we can have impedance, say Z1, Z2, etc., Zn, which is in series with this voltage source V1, V2, etc., Vn, under that condition, we can find out Vm by means of this equation that is V1, Y1 plus V2, Y2 plus etc. Vn, Yn all divided by Y1 plus Y2 plus etc. Yn where Y is reciprocal of impedance. Y1 is equal to 1 by Z1, Y2 is equal to 1 by Z2 and so on. Similarly, Zm can be obtained by means of this equation 1 by Y1 plus Y2 plus etc. Yn. In this case, the equivalent circuit is like this. Here, Vm can be obtained by means of this equation. And instead of resistance, Zm will come into picture. That Zm can be obtained by means of this equation. Let's consider a simple example in order to see how we can solve this type of circuit using Milman's theorem. For that, let's consider this example. Calculate the current I shown in the figure using Milman's theorem. Here we can see there are two voltage sources, 10 volt and 20 volt. 10 volt is having some internal resistance 2 ohm and 20 volt source is having internal resistance 5 ohm. So this circuit can be redrawn in this way. According to Milman's theorem, this network can be replaced by a single voltage source Vm in series with a resistance Rm. After finding out this equivalent network, we can connect this 3 ohm. After connecting this 3 ohm, I can be obtained as Vm divided by Rem plus 3. Now we can calculate Vm. Vm is equal to V1 G1 plus V2 G2 all divided by G1 plus G2 where G is conductance. Here V1 is given as 10 volt and V2 is given as 20 volt. G1 is reciprocal of first resistance that is 1 by 2. So it is obtained as 0.5 more. And G2 is reciprocal of this 5 that is 1 by 5. It is obtained as 0.2 more. 
Now we can substitute these values in this equation so that we can obtain Vm. Vm can be obtained as 12.86 volt. Then we need to find out Rm. Rm is equal to 1 divided by G1 plus G2. G1 is 0.5 and G2 is 0.2. Substituting we can obtain Rm as 1.43 ohm. Now we can draw the equivalent network corresponding to this portion. A single voltage source having value Vm in series with resistance Rm like this. After drawing this equivalent network, we can connect 3 ohm resistor across this terminal like this. Now current flowing through this circuit is nothing but current flowing through 3 ohm resistor that we need to find out. That is equal to 12.86 divided by total resistance. Total resistance is coming 4.43. And current flowing through 3 ohm resistor is obtained as 2.9 ampere. In this way, we can solve any network having n number of voltage sources are connected in parallel like this using Milman's theorem. This Milman's theorem is useful to find out neutral shift voltage and thereby solution of an unbalanced three phase three wire star connected load situation.